Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another Reddit story for you. This one is from the AITAH subreddit and is titled, Am I the astronaut for telling my brother he cannot stay with me over Christmas if he brings his prosthetic leg? My younger brother has a prosthetic leg. I think it's creepy AF and I have no idea where he got it. I'm reasonably certain that it is something I would rather not know. To be clear here, my brother has two perfectly healthy legs still attached to his body. What? Okay, hold up. Oh, okay, yeah, because right after the title, we're like, yeah, yeah, you're an asshole, but hold up. The brother has two perfectly healthy legs still attached to his body. He doesn't need the prosthetic leg. Is it like a leg lamp? Is it like Christmas story? He just has this thing he takes with him everywhere. I don't know why. I don't want to know. Before you ask, yeah, it probably is a mental health thing. He wanted to stay with me rather than our parents while he is home for the holidays. I said he was welcome to stay so long as he doesn't bring that thing into my house. He said it wasn't a big deal and that he would leave it in his luggage. I agreed on the condition that if I saw it outside of his luggage in my home, that I had the right to destroy it. He backtracked on staying with me and is at our parents' house where he is miserable. They still treat him like a little boy instead of a guy who is almost 30. He called me again after supper and asked to please stay with me. I said he could stay so long as we together took his thing and put it into a storage unit until he leaves. I get the key. He won't do it. He says that I'm being a bitch for not letting him stay with me. I think he needs to get therapy or medication or both or a girlfriend, boyfriend, dog, cat, hamster, something. Just not a gosh heckin prosthetic leg. He's almost 30 carrying around a prosthetic leg that he does not need. I mean, I don't know. What? Did he steal the leg? Is he rocket the raccoon? Did he is he like stealing prosthetics from people? Because that's not cool. Uh, okay, hold on. Top comment here. I know this is extremely distressing for you, but I'm laughing so hard. At first, I was like, is this asshole serious? She won't let her brother bring his damn leg like his whole ass leg. He needs to walk because he literally lost a leg in some horrible accident. But then you clarified both his healthy legs are still attached and I lost it. NTA, but you and I are not the same. I would need to know all of it. Where did you get it? Why do you have it? What do you do with it? Did you steal it off a bum or something? Then I would stare at him uncomfortably until he broke and told it all to me. I may later regret my decision, but I don't often think that far into the future when something catches my attention. I'm kind of here. Is it harmful? Like, I, I, I OP finds it weird, and that's why they don't want it in their house. I mean, is it harmful, though? And if he's got if he's got a mental condition that that would explain why he has some kind of attachment to this, like what's the harm in him having it? If that's his thing, if he, you know, like most people have their blanket or whatever, that's their thing, then what? Or I mean, what's what's the harm in him having it? I guess you would need to know what the thing was to know if it was harmful or not. Right. If it's his thing and he keeps it in private, then that's one thing. If he's like carrying it around the house, that's that's a different thing. If OP has kids like I would need more information like I need I need to know that this is not a creepy, dangerous thing. I I would need more. I need to know. I need to know. Like, where do you just get it? Because I, I, I think my. My assumption is that prosthetic legs aren't like a cheap thing. So it's not like he went to the store and just got one. He had to get it because it was either someone had passed and didn't need it anymore or or it was a broken one that I I don't know. But but it's not one of those things that average Joe can just go to the store and get. What if he's one of these guys that like pretends to be um, a a disabled veteran with like a with a prosthetic leg and and sits on the corners um panhandling what if what if it's some kind of deal like that it could be i mean it it absolutely could be something like that but but if that was the case he wouldn't have a problem leaving it in his suitcase it's not like he's going to go out and he wants to like have it out